Hello everyone, GaffTheMaster974 here again today doing another Valve source code tutorial. This time around I'm going to go over the basics of con commands. Now if you go to episode 5 of this tutorial series you can see me go into the basics of convars, dealing with the concussive blast entity that is in Half-Life 2 used by the Strider but if you want to include the combine guards and the combine guard gun then you might want to pass through convar values to alter the damage of the concussive blast entities. So in this case I'm going to deal with con commands. So convars are only really good for one parameter like NPC health or NPC damage with a particular ammo type, player damage with a particular ammo type and stuff to that effect. But a con command is more if you want to fire a function. So impulse 101 would be an example of a con command that passes through an argument and impulse 101 gives you all the weapons that are in the game, right? So I'm going to go over an example where you have a con command that passes through an argument and a con command that doesn't. And so the first case I'm going to go into is a con command that passes through an argument. And in this case, I'm going to deal with the factorial function. So I'm putting this file on the server, I wanted to do this on the client, but with the con command that's going to spawn in an item, basically is what it's going to do. It didn't really work on the server, it had to be done, sorry, it didn't work on the client, it had to be done on the server. Sorry, I'm just, you know, trying to think about this on the fly. So yeah, I've already written out all the code anyway, so this is something new for the series. So if you like this style, let me know, sorry for the audio fuck ups, I'll try and remove them if I can. One thing that's important is at the top of the file you need to hashtag include cbase.h and for spawning in a, in a prop like what I'm going to do here a little later on you have to hashtag include props.h and hashtag include data cache forward slash imdl cache h and end with the good old faithful hashtag include tier zero forward slash memdbgone.h and so as I show in the video here, I've actually got uh, an array of const char asterisks or strings of basically the answers of the factorial of numbers from 0 to 33. So if you don't know what the factorial is, it's basically a number like as I highlight here 8. And you do that number multiplied by the number before it, the last whole number until you get to 1 and then you end. So in this case, 8 factorial, you do 8 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, like that. And then you see the answer is going to be 40,320. And so you can see the answers from 0 to 33. And yeah, 0 factorial gives you an answer of 1. There's mathematical proof that explains why that is, but it is what it is. And you can't do the factorial of a negative number, that just is invalid. So it only goes to number 33 and as I say in a comment above the array it's actually from a file called spherical.cpp which is in the mathlib project. However that's in floats in that file if I show it on the video and it's not a public file that you can access or in a dot header file but I also wanted to do this specific con command idea with an actual coded way of figuring out what the factorial would be but it seems as if the code when dealing with floats or doubles just didn't want to output the correct answer so yeah I don't know why that was the case but with these const chart asterisks it works so let's carry on to the actual function so the good thing about con commands is you don't actually have to contain these functions within classes or anything so there's no class, there's no public or private or protected parameters we have to deal with. We just create a function. So in this case, I've got a void factorial function. And because we care about the input, we're actually going to pass through an input of const c command and args. And so the first thing we're going to do is uh, have a const char asterisk called input, which is our args c command dot arg and one. And that's basically the number that you type in after you type in factorial in the developer console. And then we're going to use a generalized C++ function called A to I to take input and then turn it into an int called I within the code. And so you can see what I'm trying to do here is to say, well, if I is zero, then we want to say that we want to do the factorial 
Uh, so it goes into the array of strings and then pick out the zero one. So zero element zero is the answer one. Then element one is the answer for one, and that is also one. And you see, go and go for there. So if it's exactly equal to zero, then I put the message one to the console. But then if we pass through a string, which isn't an int, then we want to say, no, it's invalid. Or if it's any input less than zero, then we want to say the input's invalid. But then if it's higher than 33, we want to say, no, we're going outside of the bounds of the array. So basically, whatever the input is, it's that array element. And whatever that is, just print it to the console. Yeah, so that's what we want to do there. But with the con command, I'm going to call it something like factorial. And in rounded brackets, in speech marks, it's whatever it's going to be referred to in the developer console. So in this case, I'm going to call it factorial. Then after this, um, you want to link to the function that you want to execute. In this case, it's the factorial function. There, it's a help string after this. So I say it performs a factorial of the input value. You can choose to leave nothing here if you want to. And the last where zero is, is a flag but that restricts the access of the uh, con command. And I'll get into that a little later, but because we don't want to restrict it or do anything special, we're just going to pass through zero. And so if I go into the game now, you can see that I'm doing the factorial of different numbers and it's printing answers to the console. And so if I was to do the factorial of 33, which is the highest number of the array, which is taken from spherical.cpp, and I just copy and paste that value, then you can see it's pretty much identical. So that means it works. And so now I'm going to move on to a situation where we're not going to pass through an input parameter. We just want to type something in the console and then it does something. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just show you the code and you can copy and paste it on your own if you want to. But it's creating the explosive oil drum from Half-Life 2 at a position where the player's looking. So just to go through the code briefly, it's just uh, pre-caching, trying to create a prop physics. Then if we can create a prop physics, then pre-cache a model, set a model, give it a name, give it the spawn flag that allows it to be picked up, spawn it, and then spawn it at the position where the player is looking. And because it might get stuck in the ground, we just want to shift it up a little bit to not allow that to happen. But in this case, we're going to use a static con command. Now, I don't know what the static keyword does, so I think we just need to use it in this specific case. But I'm going to call it int create explosive bowel. And then in speech marks, call it the exact same thing because that's what it's going to say in the console. Then this is related to the create explosive bowel function. And then the help string, I'd say here, create an explosive bowel at the location the player's looking. But we are going to have flags here. And I'm going to say fcvar game dll and fcvar cheat, which effectively means you can only use this if server cheats are on. And so if you right click, for example, the cheat and go to declaration, then it takes you to iconvar.h. And here you have a whole list of console variable and con command flags that you can choose. So cheat would be one to use um, or hidden if you don't want people to see it, but you can still use it in the console. And that is pretty much the basics of con commands. Sorry, it's not too in depth, but I wanted to try something different and also try to keep this tutorial relatively short. So hopefully you like this style and take care out there. Peace out and see you for the next tutorial.